Now the question is, okay, D, I understand. How do I do this as a loan officer? Well, again, it's understanding the platforms. It's understanding the demographics of each platform. So for example, I wouldn't necessarily be on TikTok right now talking about refinances because the audience around TikTok or the audience around Instagram aren't individuals who necessarily own homes or been homeowners for a minute. Does that make sense? Whereas I would place that information on Facebook and LinkedIn. And when I say information on Facebook and LinkedIn, I'm not talking about you start your content or your video or your written blog or your graphic with saying, hey, we got you know no lender fees on this refinance. Refinance now, rates are low. Don't do that. What you have to do is understand the concept of the 80-20. You may have heard of 80-20 where your content piece and your post if you are going to present a pitch or a call to action is what it's called. Call to action is like whenever you hear me on my content and I say, you know, if you haven't already downloaded a copy of my sales script, request the copy. That's my call to action. Or another call to action would be like, hey, if this information has helped you, please hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Does that make sense? Add me to your feed, that's my call to action. But I don't start my content off that way, right? What I do is I provide value and I provide insight and then I give you an option to then you know, do something in your favor, which is add me on your stream. And in some cases, I'll sprinkle you know, here and there a sale or you know, learn how to work with me and, and I'll pitch my product. But the 80-20 rule it happens like this. 80% of your posts and your content really needs to be valuable information that helps the consumer, the person consuming the content. Meaning, if you are in you know, real estate like I am, you know, helpful information would be information that we already know because we're in the industry. And I'm not talking about loan programs or interest rates or down payment programs, 100% financing. What I'm talking about is valuable information where people can relate. And so instead of being directly pitching your product, what you can do is share stories, right? Stories that could be applied to you or could apply towards maybe another client of a fellow loan officer within your office. And so you could talk about maybe the Joneses. You know, the Joneses had 530 FICO. They were so paranoid and thinking that they couldn't ever afford. And so they're always wasting money in rent, right? And so this is insight because a lot of people can relate. You know, the Joneses had over $30,000 in credit card debt. They didn't own a home. They had no tax write-offs. You know, they were just living check to check. And so what we did was we helped them. Does that make sense? So in essence, you're subliminally pitching your services, but you're doing it through a way where people can relate and you're sharing with them the insight that you provided these clients so that they can execute the same information. They could take the same proper steps if they relate and if they have that same exact scenario. And so there are certain ways to plant yourself in front of the people and the end consumers that you want. You just have to be more strategic. And I guess the bottom line message is understand that as a consumer and as people you know, go onto these social media websites or these apps, they're not looking to be pitched, so avoid the pitch. Be more about branding yourself in a way where you have the insight, you're the go-to. Because if you can be niched enough where you have enough intel and helpful information, you position yourself as an authority within your industry. 